in the past i have made a lot of uh, vehicle controllers inside unity with the help of visual scripting so in this video we will learn on how you can export your car model from blender to unity so in this case i have downloaded this car model from cg traders and now i want to export it properly inside unity or any other game engine so let's get started so the first thing you want to do is import your asset uh, which is this car model over here select your car model and then hit tab so that we can go into the edit mode now as you can see it uh, this wheels doesn't have shaft so it's no big deal if you have then you have to separate it according to your need okay so the first thing we will we will do is hover our mouse over the wheels and then press l key to select the loop uh, and now let's select other three wheels as well now what we want to do is press p to separate uh, by selection so we have selected all these four meshes so now we will separate it and if your wheels are already separated like this uh, from the car body then it's good uh, now what we want to do is go inside the edit mode now to select each and every wheel we can press a then with the a key it will select uh, everything like it's like select all so now we can press p again and then we can separate it by loose parts and now that you are done press tab again to get out of the edit mode and now as you can see each and every one of the wheel is separated uh, and now for the people who are new to blender uh, you use left mouse button to select and then hold down the shift key and then select other wheels as well okay so now that you have selected all the wheels right click and then we can set its origin to geometry and now that we have done that uh, the origin is now at the center of the wheel so if you now try to rotate it so if i just take a move key uh, you can take the rotate and then uh, use this to rotate it but what i like to do is uh, turn on the arrow gizmos and then press r to rotate and z for the axis now even without this gizmo enabled you can still do that r to rotate and z but you sometimes have to make your eye go up over here to see which axis you want to rotate so to just keep, in, keep it simple i like to have this gizmo so that i know which axis uh, i want to rotate my objects to okay so rotate z now as you can see my wheel is rotating but as you know the back wheel doesn't rotate unless it is that kind of vehicle which has both front and rear steering so if i just select and rotate it if you like this rotation then keep it this way or else you can just uh, change the pivot to some other location uh, instead so now if i just press uh, backslash uh, which is below the question mark then that mesh will get separated okay uh, now what we can do is suppose you want your origin to be a bit realistic uh, in the sense like the the wheels rotate from the shaft over here and not from the middle so sometimes if you want that then you can just select the position where you want to rotate it now, and then press shift s and then cursor to select it now i know that if i select this ring my cursor will be at the center over there now what you can do is right click uh, while selecting the tire and then origin to 3d cursor and now if i press backslash again uh, everything will appear back again and now as you can see if i rotate this on the z you see it is uh, the wheel is rotating a bit realistic in this fashion uh, or if you want your wheel to rotate like this then keep the origin uh, at the center of the tire uh, what i will do is i will just keep the 
origin to geometry i'll keep it at the center of the tire and now the main thing uh, is the origin of the body as you can see the origin is at the bottom which is not good according if you want to export it inside the unity uh, because in their official documentation if i let me just show you that okay so as you can see over here in the documentation uh, the point where the force is applied a better vehicle would have force applied slightly below the vehicle center of mass so it is really important where your center of mass of your vehicle is even though we do add a we do can change the center of mass with the scripting in the rigid body settings but it's good to have the origin uh, slightly better in the 3d model itself so what we will do is first let me just switch back to the blender okay so first thing we will do is click uh, select the car body right click and then set origin to geometry and now as you can see the center point of our car is over there uh, and now usually i would keep this keep that over there but if if and only if you want you can just select any bottom face uh, sorry if you can't see it let me just turn off that okay so as you can see um, if i just select oh, that edge i know that my uh, cursor will be at the center so shift s cursor to selected and now i can get out of the edit mode and then right click uh, origin to 3d cursor and now as you can see my origin has shifted over there uh, and now again if you want to shift origin uh, without doing all of this uh, manually then you can do is uh, get on the top over here check the origins and then i think if you select this you can move the origin uh, freehand okay so in this way you can move the origin wherever you want freehand okay so this is one of the way so what i like to do is i like to keep it in the calculated position so set origin to geometry it's go it's okay if it's there uh, i can still use scripting to make sure that origin is changed uh, the way i like it uh, because uh, this model is like the way the origin is calculated depends upon the length from over here to here here to here uh, with respect to geometry but in a real car uh, engine will be heavy over this side so my origin will get shifted slightly bit further over here so those can be corrected uh, with the help of rigid body inside unity uh, which I already have taught in the previous videos of my tutorial so now we are ready to export it but before that uh, if you want you can rename this wheel as far you want mm -hmm. the way I like to rename the wheel is uh, if I by the way you can just click double click on the mesh over here or you can select the object and press F2 to rename it standard uh, controls okay so if I press F2 uh, this is my front left wheel okay so this is my front right wheel now the question is if you can write it as back or rear i like to do this like uh, back left wheel and then back right wheel okay so this makes it easy uh, you can also change the name of the body and now what we are going to do is we are going to select everything hit control uh, to select everything press a uh, control a to apply uh, not all transform we will just apply rotation and scale uh, if you apply the all transform then the origin will set at the uh, world center which is where the 3d cursor is right now so we are done now we can just select everything uh, and then we can export this as an fpx file 
uh, I will just export it over there now if you have other objects in the scene make sure to uh, check selected objects only if you want to only export the car model and then we will go down uh, change this to FBX unit scale now the forward our forward is minus Y as you can see over here so I'll just put minus Y and the Z up and that's it if you have any animations that will get converted and all you need to do is click on export and that's how you export your vehicle from blender to unity or any other game engine properly so thank you so much for watching hope this video helped uh, do subscribe like and share uh, that will support me a lot uh, and ch do check out my other channel in which i make blender animations and stuff so yeah i uh, hope this video helped thank you so much for watching bye bye i'll see you in the next video